Yeah. Sure enough. Look at that. Oh wow, that's a strong source too. That's a really strong source. Holy crap. That is a huge fish. Hey everybody, it's Tim with Combat Fly Fishing. I'm here with Chris today. We're doing our first kind of uh, long hike into a remote area. My goal, and I don't know, I, I'm sure Chris will come with me, but my goal this year is to try to hit real remote areas to fish anymore and uh, try to get away from the the tailwaters that we frequent on a lot of my videos just to kind of change it up a little bit we're heading to a remote stretch of river it's got about a <clears throat> i mean as the crow flies it's probably about two and a half miles but the actual trail itself is probably close to four miles in there's a probably a intermediate four-wheel drive road to get in here and then it's nothing but bushwhacking from there there's no established trails or anything like that i did a video we did come in here in september i think of i think it was 2020 i'm not sure but uh, the i'll link the video below in the comment section to check out but we hit that in september it's been a couple years we're trying to make our way back it's mid-may right now so we're gonna go check it out and see how it fishes but uh, the hike in isn't too bad because it's all downhill but the hike out oof, it's tough and I, uh, last time we went, I had a navigational error and took us off track. It cost us about another half mile of <laughs> hiking through burn scar, which if you've ever done that, is just brutal. Just constantly climbing over stuff. But uh, looking forward to today. Otto's not with us. Today, he's uh, gonna stay at home. Just the joints are starting to bother him. And uh, so Chris decided this one was gonna be too tough for him. He did come with us on the last one and he was pretty smoked by the time we got back to the car. Well, we, are, we all were, but come in a little more prepared this time. And I think, uh, I think we're gonna be, it's not gonna be nearly as bad. We, Learned a lot of lessons coming in here the last time, so I will see you guys on the river. On this hike, uh, time management is important to uh, so we don't get trapped hiking back in the dark, especially when there's no established trail, and you know it's you're more susceptible to injury that way. So 
we want to be able to get back out while we can still see and we've been on the trail let's see uh, about an hour now and we still have about a mile and a half to go so whatever when we get to the river we'll end up uh, doubling that and then that's what we'll use as our window to get out of here before uh, the sun sets. Well, we made it. Finally made it to the river. Another 50 meters or so and we'll be right there. Yeah, this is a little, little murky, not, not too bad, but definitely a little bit of uh, discoloration from runoff. Yeah, one of the challenges of this area we're fishing is it's uh, all choked out with vegetation. These willows come right up to the river's edge, so you have to kind of wade along the edges as you're moving. And uh, it's the only thing that kind of makes it slow going. And then also there's boulder fields all up and down this thing that you have to navigate around. <laughs> yeah! Yeah! Did you get it unstuck? Oh my gosh, that was great! Oh man. Hey, we haven't even, uh, we haven't even seen a fish. No. We haven't even seen a fish. So this is a real deep run. I'm just gonna <clears throat> try to get to the bottom of it. You can't see in any of these anyway. But this looks like a pretty decent run. I think we hit this run the last time we were here and it fished okay. Yep, sure enough. Look at that. Oh wow, that's a strong fish too. That's a really strong fish. Holy cow. Damn. That thing is, that's a, oh my gosh, that is a huge fish. Holy cow. Oh my goodness. That is, that is no joke. Oh my gosh. That, that's a 20 inch rainbow. Come on, net, don't fail me now. Holy cow. That's no joke. That's a straight up 20 inch fish right there. Ooh. There we go. He kind of wrapped up in it for a second, but now he's good. Ooh. Oh boy. Come on, no you don't. No you don't, no you don't. No you don't. No you don't. Holy cow. That is a monster fish. It's right here, this is what I got. Going over. Come on, come to me. 
Wow. This is a fish right here. Oh, holy cow. Holy smoke, the thing's huge. Holy cow. That's incredible. That's a big fish. Whoa. Look at how long that fish is. Holy cow. Wow. All right, well that was a, that was quite the surprise. Let's see if uh, lightning will strike twice in the same place. That fish fought like, that was one of the best fighting fish I've caught in a long time. Just ferocious. Yeah, I kind of had it right here. See where that foam is? Right on that seam? That's where I had it. Oh yeah, it was, it, it took my stuff under for sure. It was a, it was a legit hardcore, ooh, what the hell's going on here? Maybe I'll just put on a little bit more weight. auxiliary on either side. Look at that. <laughs> See you later, buddy. Nice. Yeah, it looks like a brown. Oh, nice brown. Real nice one. Holy cow. That's a good fish. There you go. Not bad. Did you know? So far, just a couple fish. But at least now we know they're in here. We're going to press on downstream a little bit. Last time I was here, there was a, a big old boulder field and there were a lot of fish in between the, the boulders. It's not ideal, but uh, I, still, I still want to take a look at it because we, we haven't seen a fish that we haven't hooked. So we haven't spooked a fish. We haven't seen a fish in a run. The only, we're just, you know, fishing these deep runs and those are the only fish we're pulling out. So that's kind of where we're focusing all our attention now, these deep runs. So. We want to see what's on the other side of this boulder field. And the only way to get there is to scale. You see, Chris is down there. And then we got to scale up over this. So, this is about as far as we got last time. I want to go a little bit farther, so we can give it a shot. Here we go. Uh. Looks okay. Just how do we get down in there is the problem. Press on over here and take a look. I 
think I'll wait for Chris right here. Holy cow. That's a descent though. Yikes. I crawl out on this big rock and take a look. This is gonna be new water for us. We didn't get this far last time because we stayed low in the boulder so choke you off. And we were just kind of smoked from crawling around. But we're feeling our Wheaties. So we're gonna try to maintain kind of elevation and then drop down hopefully right where that boulder is if we can find somewhere to get in at. But whenever I'm climbing around this kind of stuff, my wife always gets upset at me because she's like, I just don't want to see you get hurt. And I just have to remind her that I have seen surviving Everest like three times, so I kind of know what I'm doing. Uh, no need to worry, honey. I, I have it well under control, so. All right, well, we made it down here. Gonna be something getting back, I'll tell you. All right, no time like the present. If we could get to that other side, that's that's where the fish are. Right off that that area over there, it's a lot easier. That easy water over there, they're probably not in this as much. Let's see if we can make it over there. Well, that's deep. That's really deep, actually. Well, that's a different story. Whoa! <laughs> Closer to the rock, it's shallower. At least that's my theory. Want this? Oh, success! All right, this has been quite the adventure. Now, if we can get a fish out of here, that'd be fantastic. Oh, that's a good fish. Nice. Gotcha. Well, that's a that's a good fish. That's a dandy. Oh hell yeah! Well, that was worth it. That's a that's a stunner. That's a wild trout, man. Look at those teeth. Yeah, I guess that was worth coming over here. So now we're getting into fish. Nice. Oh, that wind. Holy cow. Insane. There you go, a little brown. What do you got out for the midge? Uh, just a little red blood midge. Well, I've gone as far as I can go without actually having to go up and over this. I just don't think I have the energy for it, especially with the massive hike out that we're gonna have. Uh, Chris caught a couple up the way. I caught one little tiny guy. 
in here, uh, but so far uh, nothing to say that it was uh, fishing any better than it was where we were, but at least we're uh, somewhere I don't think we've been before. Chris, Chris seems to think we've been through here already for the last time, but maybe it's because the flows are up, I don't know, but I don't, I don't remember this area, so. So, heading back. slow going on this stretch. We are really having a hard time. We burned a lot of energy trying to push past where we typically or where we've been before and uh, we're gonna pay for it later on during the hike out guaranteed. This compressed granite, some of it's like standing on ice. The legs just give right out. That was a trek, but we made it back to what I now call the 20 inch hole. That didn't come out right. Your hole, your fish. No, go ahead. All right, I'll give it a shot. But I too am going to down my pack. See better. Yep, there it is. Yeah, oh yeah. It's a good fish. <laughs> Much better than the last one I had. Stick? Nope. It's a fish. Oh, yep. It's a little dink. Well, he's not a dink. He's got he's got spirit. No, it's not. How dare you? This guy. This fella. If it is the one you caught earlier, he's gained a pound. <laughs> oh crap, this stupid net. Come on. Come on, net. This is a fish. This is a big fish too. This is a this is a mo this is a monster. Oh yeah. This is <laughs> Chris. He's telling me I'm gonna lose it. You're a good man, Chris. Oh snap. That's a big fish. Holy cow. Nope. I got him right here. Oh, he's wrapped up in it. I better get it quick or I am going to lose him. Oh, he's unwrapped. Okay. I'm off. Oh my gosh. That is a ferocious looking fish. He took that RS too. Oh man. That's a fish. Come on, baby. Oh, 
He's big too. Man, these fish fight like nobody's business. Come on, baby, come on. Oh. Come on. There you go. Oof. Touch him with the net. Technically, he's landed. <laughs> oh, fetch. My foot's stuck in that. This is a fish right here, holy cow. Oh, oh my gosh. That's a fish, dude. Holy cow. That's a monster. Woo! Look at that thing, huh? It's a fish right there. Oh, amazing. Oh, rainbow. Okay, let me grab the net. Chris and I are only about three quarters of the way back, but and we have we have gone coming out of here. Oof. That'll tear you up pretty good. Uh, even this last three quarters of a mile isn't isn't even that bad, but our legs are just smoked. Now I remember why it's been a couple years since we've been in here. <laughs> so, all right, breaks over. Time to press on. <laughs> 